Ugh, diuretic. Carotenoids. And hepatoprotective? Hepatoprotective, I think. Hepatoprotective activity in neurological and memory. What does that say? Why are you always lying? Hello everyone. This is Poe. And this is a potato. A sweet potato to be exact. And I am Michiwi. And I am on a weight loss journey. Now, I won't be cooking this for breakfast, but I will be having it for dinner. Later today, I'm going to be making sweet potato tuna wedges. Now, these orange wonders are not only delicious, but also a secret weapon in achieving your weight loss goals. Sweet potatoes are not only low in calories and fat, but also high in fiber and antioxidants and promote a healthy gut and brain. Just one sweet potato will give you 102% of the vitamin A you need each day. It's also good for your organs like your heart and kidneys. There's various ways to cook them, either in sweet or savory meals, or sweet and savory meals. If you boil them, they're okay to eat for people who are concerned about their blood sugar levels. And the following information is from NIH.gov, and they use a lot of big words, so I'm gonna do my best. The sweet potato is considered an excellent source of dietary carotenoids and polysaccharides, whose health benefits include antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, hepatoprotective activity, cardiovascular protection, anti-cancer properties, and improvement in neurological and memory capacity, metabolic disorders, and intestinal barrier function. In short, they're really good for you. Now, some sites claim that eating too many sweet potatoes can lead to hypervitaminosis A, AKA vitamin A toxicity, but studies have shown that overdoing it on vitamin A supplements is what leads to the vitamin A toxicity, not from food. The only side effect from eating too many sweet potatoes at once would be discolored yellow skin, which is caused by a harmless, if not embarrassing condition called keratinodermia. This would take several months to develop and the treatment is to reduce the intake of keratins in your diet. Now, I was born with jaundice, which is a yellowing of the skin. Apparently my mom put me on a hot rock and that fixed the problem, but I'm not really too keen on having yellow skin again. So I'm just gonna make sure that I don't overdo it with them. Having a sweet potato every day is not gonna do it though. But one sweet potato with some tuna is not gonna cause it. And it's going to help me out because this morning I'm having my shrimp and cornbread muffins, which will cause a spike in blood sugar levels. And a sweet potato is going to be a nice way to help that out because it's high in fiber, which can help lower blood sugar levels. I will also be having my regular four sausages because I love the protein that it gives me and it tastes good. That's the plan for breakfast. I've got my dinner figured out. There's nothing to show to cook for it because the cornbread muffins are already made and you've seen the sausages a million times. So here's the plan for today. I need to clean the yard. I need to pick up the house. I need to exercise. I think that's about it. I do have a case of the Sundays, as in I want it to be Sunday. So I'm glad it's not packed full of stuff to do today because I just don't really wanna do anything, but I'm gonna. So with that being said, I will show you my breakfast, eat it, and then get on with the day. That's about it. If you aren't interested in seeing me clean or work out, maybe stick around to see if I can achieve an edible meal with sweet potatoes and tuna. See you in a bit, guys.
It's sweet potato tuna melt time. And you guys are gonna be learning this along with me because I have no idea what I'm doing. Fingers crossed. Um, I have the oven preheating to 400 degrees. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare the sweet potato. It says use a Japanese sweet potato. I don't think I have that. I have this. I am supposed to wash it and cut off the ends. So that is what I will do. Okay, so now I am supposed to cut it into one fourth inch. It says cut one fourth slices. Is that one fourth inch or just a fourth of the potato? How thick are the slices supposed to be? We'll just go, we're cutting them into four pieces. No, I think right about there, there, and there. Those look, these look really thick. I'm gonna cut them in half. Like that, I think. Oh girl. Yeah, those just, those look more doable. Need to weigh it real quick. Start 20 minute timer. 20 minutes, starting now. Okay, so the rest of it is tuna, mayo, salt, pepper, mustard, and garlic powder. Tuna's prepared, sweet potatoes are in the oven. I'll just have to sprinkle on some cheese when I put the tuna on the potatoes and put back in the oven. So the potatoes are going to be 20 minutes on each side. So I will see you guys again in 40 minutes. The sweet potatoes are almost ready to come out of the oven. I put an extra tablespoon of mayo with avocado oil in the tuna because it tasted a little dry. So with a tablespoon of the avocado oil, the tuna mixture, and the sweet potatoes, all of that is gonna be 500 calories. That leaves me with 150 left to go. I did calculate a third of a cup of the blended cheese that I was gonna put on it, but that does give me room to add more if I want it, and that's what I will probably do. Also, because it was 130 calories for the avocado oil, I think I could even get this calorie count down even further if I had just some spray. And I know at Trader Joe's they sell spray on avocado oil, so I might have to look and see if Winco has a version of that, or maybe just Amazon. I don't even know where the Trader Joe's is here. I know we have a Whole Foods. There's the timer. I have to say they smell really good, but they're not ready yet. <laughs> I have to put this stuff on it still. I could barely fit the cheese I had on there, so I have to figure out what to do for an extra 150 calories because I don't wanna to go too low. So I'll be right back after I give it a think. Two tablespoons of this is 130 calories. Now the other day, I didn't wanna have broccoli for my calories because it's mostly in ranch dressing, but I was also planning on fasting the next day and I wanted to make sure that I got the most in my stomach for the calories I was getting. That is not a concern with me today, so I'm just gonna use it in dressing. probably let these cool but I am really excited to try it so let's dig in hot mmm <laughs> these are so damn good yes on this recipe if you want to try it because you like tuna and you want sweet potatoes and you want a huge meal for 500 calories yes on this recipe 100% wait till it cools though I mean do any of us wait till it's cooled it's sweet it's salty it includes fish which I love 100% sold and with that Finally perfect ending. And as they say, always go out on a high note. This is my outro. Bye guys. <laughs>